Answer. Come on in. Come make a drink, darling. Come wrap up in me blankie. Say hi to Maximus. Come sit beside me. Let's do a reading for you. Cancer. Cancer. Let's do a reading for May. Cancer. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Cancer. Let's go. <clears throat> You're all over uh, energy right now, Cancer. Some sort of drama, upset. Something going on right now. Some sort of drama and upset. I got the marriage card followed by the nightmare. Wow. Marriage and nightmare. Somebody left. Uh, maybe you. Possibility that you already live with this person or you were married to them. Or you wanted to marry them. And then uh, the nightmare came in. I don't know what happened here. We've got the uh, king of earth. The Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody walked away from this. Somebody walked away from this marriage or this living together. Some sort of an arrangement. Somebody walked away. Whoa. Oh my God. I got the Nightmare card and I got the Nine of Hammers. Man. This is somebody that is right now in the throes of pain. Somebody right now, like right in the middle of this horrible, horrible thing. Let me shuffle these up. This is, uh, I don't know if this is recent cancer. I don't know if this is a recent thing. Oh my God, look at this. What kind of reading am I got here? This is the devil card, bondage. This is someone that you might have got involved in that might have had some addictions. Uh, might have been uh, a big drinker, a big partier. Uh, I, I just feel cancer that uh, this person that you shouldn't have got involved in. I've got a Libra here. Cancer. Just, uh, yeah, feeling very guarded. Feeling absolutely heartbroken right now. Absolutely heartbroken. I believe this could be something recent. Like in the past month or two. This, this is, it hasn't been going on for a long time. This breakup is recent. Three on the wall, one on the floor. You're resting, you're trying to heal. Resting and trying to heal. But I just feel, hmm, yeah, well, I believe that uh, you're waiting for someone to come in to make an offer, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I've got a betrayal card here. I, I think you, I think you might have seen this coming. With the Four of Cups, refusing the Fourth Cup. Did you, Cancer, did you tell somebody that you love them? Were you waiting for this connection to grow? You were happy with this connection. You were, you thought this was the one. But uh, this one, 
ended up packing up the six swords and going down to the boat and getting the hell out of Dodge. This one. But that being said, I've got taken the leap card here. Somebody holding something very close to their chest. I, I feel this. This is somebody that can't take a leap right now. They're holding something very close to their chest that they're just not talking about. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think this person made a big mistake. Somebody made a big mistake here. Yeah. I got this kind of energy that wants to just come in. Like, this is room for a pony. This this is home. But they, they can't, for some reason, come forward. I, I think they were, I, I, I think, uh, they were a, a cheat. I think you found out. I, I think that they put you right up in bondage over this. I, I think that it might have been word of mouth. Be careful of this word of mouth stuff. I mean, that's, that could be just someone causing trouble. What I see is this person wanting to come forward very quickly and starting something up with you, but oh my god. Yeah. This person, Cancer, from what I see, this person wants to come forward. Um, they can't. They can't. They're, holy crap. They're, I don't know if this person is, well, they're very... Very, very, very conflicted. Very conflicted. Uh, what? Just the trauma. They, they want to bring in this star. Where did you go? They want to bring in the star. I just see this person is very, very conflicted. They, they want to come forward. But something stops them. Like, this is no communication. This is no communication. Did this person borrow money from you? Yeah. Okay, so there's a possibility, even though you're suffering a, a lot of pain right now, that I think that deep down inside, uh, you're probably done with this. I, I think that I think you're done with this. Just the sound of this person's name sends you into heartache, sends you right back into the tower. Just their mention of their name is excruciatingly painful. Eventually, somebody is going to come. Holy crap. We could be dealing with King Neptune here, Pisces. You're going to have to make some sort of decision on this. You're going to have to find some balance. You're going to have to find some balance. This person wants to come forward and they're not. And they're feeling that they can't go forward. They want the Ten Cups. They want the Star. They want... They want to take the leap, but they're not saying anything. They're holding it close to their chest. And I see sometimes they want to rush right in, and then something happens to them. Yeah. Cancer, is your person like, uh, <laughs> are they like a drug addict or they're drinking a lot or something? Because I just see that their mind is... Look at this. This is passion. This is love. Passion and love. This. I, I don't know what the hell this person is doing. 
one minute they're grounded and they're thinking I love them. And then the next minute they're like, no, 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 can't do it. <laughs> well, eventually they will come forward. Eventually. Because I think they're right on the verge right now. I think they're right on the verge of coming coming forward. Like, I don't think they can take this much longer. But as for you right now, oh, okay, and so you're feeling a lot of pain, feeling a lot of hurt, feeling a lot of betrayal. And I think this person is probably wondering if you could ever forgive them for what they've done. I think that's what's happening here. Like, I, I think they think that you being a water sign and being so, you know, kind and, and considerate and loving that you would probably uh, talk to them. But I don't think that they could get their foot back in the door here. I don't think. Man, they, they have a lot of, they have a, a lack of self-confidence. This person's got some sort of a, a nervous disorder or something. I don't know if this person is drinking or, or if they're taking drugs or maybe both. I just, yeah, I, I don't think they can come forward, Cancer. I don't think they can do it. They're, I would say, possibly even, maybe even a little, little bit afraid of you. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I don't know if you, uh, if you might have pinched them with your claw, but uh, I, I think they're a little bit afraid to come forward to you. <laughs> yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. They can see that, but they're so. I, I don't know if they think they can't come forward because they're so confused or they're so messed up or mixed up or like just, yeah. Well, I'm going to say this is both of you, both of you in the tower. I, I know you're in a lot of pain right now, Cancer. And this person, I'm going to say this person not so much pain, but just destructive with themselves. Just absolutely destructive. Excuse me. Absolutely destructive. Just uh, no self-care here at all. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Cancer, I'm going to have to seriously tell you that um, I kind of pick up on this guy that he might be, um, I don't know if he's a, an underdog and you just feel sorry for him and <clears throat> you love him because you see a side of him that other people don't see. Um, I just I feel that he might be a little bit like shaggy and maybe his beard is not trimmed or you know, I just, you know, his clothes are probably falling off him, and I, I don't see him as anything very, very attractive. He may have something attractive on the inside that you're attracted to, but I, yeah, cancer, you can't save the world. That's what I'm going to say to you. You can't save the world. And this, this person is in dire need of being saved because they're very uh, uncontrollable with themselves. They have no self-care. And uh, I, I just feel that um, the best thing to do uh, with this person, darling, is to um, release, release, close it off, end it is what I'm seeing here and you know I, I really actually don't even see this being a soulmate 
I, I would um, definitely um, uh, leave this person at the cold. Is what I would do. But uh, I, I could just. This is a person who, even though they're not that attractive and they don't really have anything going for them, but yet there's something about them that you see, you see potential. Whereas nobody else that knows them would see potential in them. Um, I, I think you see um, just a, a child that, that needs to be held and needs to be comforted and loved and and you know someone that's had a rough life or you know somebody that nobody's been there for so uh if this resonates i'm gonna have to tell you darling this this energy has been like this uh all its life all its life and this energy will continue to be like this. It will be um, just nothing but heartache. A lot of heartache I see here. And I would say release it and carry on. Work towards yourself and, uh, and hopefully blessings will follow you. But all I can see right now is just this pain and suffering and this person, should I go? Shouldn't I go? Uh, I don't really feel I should. I don't feel it's a soulmate connection. But there's something that holds them to you. And what it is, what holds them to you, Cancer, is your compassion. Because nobody else treats them like you do. And that's what I see. And I just see that you invest it in the wrong person. And uh, God love you, darling. Hey, we've all been there and we've all done that. So don't feel that, you know, you're the only one to pick the wrong one. Because we, a lot of us have. And uh, we've all, we've all hurt over it. Because our choices have been wrong. So, that being said, Cancer, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'd say I hope you enjoy this reading, but whew, all I can say is if I picked up on you, if this resonates, and Jeremy, I'm just going to say, please, you know, just, just let it go. Try your best to let this go, because uh, eventually they will come back, and I, I don't really see any change here. This person is very, very conflicted, very confused. You know, and anxious, and and I I don't know. Just they don't know what the hell they're doing. They really don't. And, and truthfully, I I don't think they can probably even like get their own lives straightened out. Let alone come together with you and try to build a life. I don't think they can build their own life here. I just see someone who's unkempt and someone that's just kind of scruffy. So, Cancer, move on, darling. And uh, God love you, darling. Something better will come along. We'll do your reading another month from now, and let's hope that it will give us a better outlook on what's happening. Namaste, darling. Namaste.